Welcome to Fruit Ninja Live. I'm Monica, and are you ready to watch 11 brave warriors take on some pretty dangerous fruit? Yeah, that's right. These people are going to be chopping airborne fruit in real life using a variety of different and very dangerous weapons. Marley, Samantha, I see you. Welcome. Chloe, we're all here. Kristen, Facebook Live. So many people are watching already. This is so cool. Okay, so two weeks ago, we put out a casting call on our Facebook page looking for people with real life fighting skills, bravery, and just training in general to go up against some sadistic looking fruit, okay? We got a lot of responses and ultimately we chose 11 people. Today they are going to compete against each other in chopping some of the most dangerous fruit that exists in this world, okay? That's right, this is real life Fruit Ninja and it's all to celebrate a new Ghostbusters update to Fruit Ninja which you can download through the link in the description below. Let's do this you guys. Okay, I'm looking at fruit right now. There's a lot of it in front of me. There are so many pieces of fruit. There's bananas, there's pineapples, there's watermelons, there's peaches, there's mangoes, there's cherries, there's pears, there's, papa there's giant papayas. The papayas are so big. What do you think will be the hardest fruit to chop? I'm gonna go ahead and say cherries because they're so incredibly small. What, I'm getting some, some comments. Ross thinks that apples are gonna be hard to chop. But you know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see because we're going to watch 11 warriors go up against these fruits and of course avoid bombs. But it's up to you, the viewer, to participate and determine who the greatest fruit ninja really is, okay? So during each battle, you can rank our warriors zero to five. Five is the best, zero is the worst. And then we will average out your votes to determine a winner. The top two ninjas will then compete head to head in a final round. And you can vote on them again to determine the final winner of this competition. The winner is going to have their name immortalized in the game with a blade that is named after them. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do this. Oh, oh, there's so many comments. What are they? Oh, okay. I'm getting word that it's time for the first contestant. First up, we have Dominique Vance, a.k.a. Ms. Fierce. Hi, Monica. Hi, Dominique. Welcome. Hi, How are you? I'm ready. All right. So tell us what we have here. What is your weapon of choice? Samurai sword. What okay. else? Wow, it looks incredibly dangerous. Uh, how long have you been using uh, said samurai? Probably about six years. Wow, that is a long time. That is so much longer than I have <laughs> used a samurai. All right, have you ever uh, battled fruit before? No, but I battle people, so I think the fruit will be okay. Fruit versus, okay. Yeah. All right, are you ready for this? Totally ready. Let's go! Bring on the fruit. Oh my 
my gosh, Dominique, that was so much <laughs> fruit murder. There's so many fruit guts all over. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. That was a good workout. We have a question from the viewers. Let's take some. Okay, Kelly wants to know what the hardest fruit was to chop. You know, in the rehearsal, the bananas were hardest, but uh, they started throwing multiple fruit and it was just hard to bring the sword back around. Oh my gosh, you're out of breath. This is so crazy. It looks like you chopped a lot of bananas. Yeah, I think they threw them at me because I missed them in rehearsal. <laughs> but I got some this time. What was that? Sorry. Oh, Molly wants to know, have you ever prepared a meal with a sword? No, because um, that's, that's just, that's dirty. But and now you can. Probably. Oh. All right, the votes are in. The final score is 2.2. 2.2, how do you feel? That, that's okay, I guess. Guys, you're supposed to vote five. Okay, but look at all this broken fruit. It is, there's so much, there's so much fruit and we have to clean it up because we have another contestant and we don't want them to slip. Thank you so much, Dominic. Thanks, you, you killed it, literally and figuratively.